What's good with y'all? It's your boy, she's alive. Coming back at y'all with another reaction video, man. And today, you already know, we coming with One Piece episode 408. Of course we skipped the filler. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank God for a One Piece filler list. Because, nigga, I would have definitely went into episode 406. Like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I guess they didn't get separated. You know what I mean? Because, like, in the preview image and shit, the Straw Hats were in the same place. And the last episode, they kept talking about... Yeah, we separated them, or did you, did you really separate them forever type shit, you know what I mean? So, um, bro, a lot went down last episode, you feel me, the last two episodes, them shits was super emotional for me, um, nigga almost really broke down on camera, it was, it was a, it was a rough one for your dog, man, um, we saw each straw hat get wiped out one by one by Kuma, I was calling the other two cyborgs or androids, if you will, Kumas, and they're not Kumas, they're pacifists. So it's like, all from what we understand now, it's more, it's more of his kind that serve the same purpose in a way, but they seem like they're just like assassinators. He at least goes there with a purpose and he has a personality, he has the ability to speak to people. I mean, the other ones are just, Straight to work, straight to work, straight to work, you know what I mean? So, that's what we got from that episode. Um, right now, we don't know exactly what happened to the pirates, but from how they were speaking on the situation, it just seemed like they all got transferred to different um, different destinations. In, it, in a way, it kind of seemed like they were made, like, like Kuma was helping them out. You know, like getting them out of the situation that they were in. And I feel like that would kind of make some sense because uh, Kizaru seemed a little upset when he came. He was like, you, you better have like an explanation for this. And at first I didn't understand what he meant. But yeah, I think I think I get it now. I think he low-key helped them out a little bit. I don't know why, you know, but we'll find out in this, in this episode coming up. Let's see what's good. The all-female island, Amazon Lily, huh? Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. I heard females and got interested, bro. I heard an all-female island and got a little excited. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right? Me too, because damn, they got to work on them niggas. Kazaro already left the island? Or... That's her father? Oh, shit, the whole time I thought that was her brother, I thought she just had two ugly ass brothers. I'm tripping, yeah, that's definitely her dad. Girl, shut your ass up. You gonna get murked. That's what's gonna happen to you. That's right, like, what are they gonna do with this? Like, how are they gonna get back to the ship? So I'm assuming these people are gonna be a big part of this upcoming arc, and we're gonna see a lot of them. Hopefully, hopefully they're involved in a productive way, other than just bringing the ship. Hopefully we can see some dope fights with them, and you know what I mean? Maybe even some backstories going more in depth. Where is Rayleigh? At least Hachin knows, like...
he warned them though. He said, bro, it's gonna get like if you fuck with the celestial, it's gonna get steep for y'all, and that just is what it is. That's facts. They just gotta stay frosty, man. You know what I mean? They gotta keep pushing, keep doing what they do, get tr get stronger, keep on training. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it ain't funny, cause our nigga, like, he's really hurting, but... And he's probably gonna be on some depressed ass shit. But he's floating in a bubble. He really shipped them off. Oh, uh, he knows. Okay, I thought he was unconscious the whole time. Three days and three nights, huh? Damn! <laughs> Poor Luffy. Is that the rest of the Straw Hats? If that's them, bro, let us see him one last time. Oh, uh, no, nah, it's not. He's just traveling with bubbles. I haven't seen a sea king in so long. <laughs> they at this point they just know not to fuck with Luffy and them. Like every time they fuck with Luffy and then they get their ass whooped. So he land. So the bubble just bursted on the ground, and then it turned into a paw. Come on, bro. <laughs> get out of here, my nigga. I'm alive! strong is your is the top of your head, Luffy. Like he had to keep it 100 with his crew, man. That's, that's what being a captain is all about. And he's one of the youngest on the ship, but he's one of the most per he's one of the most perceptive. That, that fucking boar still can't be hungry. Like, leave this man alone, dog.
punch that shit pretty hard for it to only do that dead. <laughs> you done fucked up. Super unfortunate. You done fucked up. I'm sorry. We spent all that time gathering everyone for the crew, you feel me? Building the bonds, traveling from island to island, all those battles. Then they just, they gonna, they gonna separate us from our niggas like this? Luffy, you don't even know what the fuck you eating! Was he serious or like, is he just trying to play off that he's upset? That's weird just now, what the hell? <laughs> My nigga Luffy is going mad right now. <laughs> Why aren't their faces moving? Are these masks? Yeah, I feel like these are, you know, like some residents from the island that's in disguise or some shit, because what the hell is that? Doing all this talking, but the mouth ain't moving. Did we get to see uh, Sanji and Chopper? Was good. Nope. They was just on some bullshit. <laughs> oh my! Look at her strong ass, but no, I'm focused on Shorty, Shorty over here. This nigga, oh, oh, oh. oh my god, who is that fucking Titan up there? What does she look like? I want to see her. She, <laughs> I'm weak. It was that some everyone on the island has to be a woman. This can't, can't, this can't be a man. A man. She is bad. Okay. We working with something here, my nigga. This might, this might be my favorite arc. Shit. How did something like this even happen? Like, how did these women get here? <laughs> and how do they expect to stay alive if they don't fuck with men? Like, I'm gonna like, for it to just be an island of women, they can't really necessarily like men at all. This nigga Luffy is tripping. That shit is nasty, bro. Just eating stuff. Just eating shit. Who is that?
What the hell? <laughs> Why would she do that? <laughs> oh, okay, it makes sense. But damn, you didn't have to scorch my nigga. Shorty look like like somebody Egypt. You heard me. You know, you know. I love my chocolate queens. You did. It's a mushroom between the legs they miss. Nah, sweetie, you play. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, what? Hey, they're wild out here. They said it's oddly shaped. <coughs> Is she gonna pull it? No, my God, no! Oh my goodness, what is she doing? My knees ashy? It don't it don't matter. What the what the fuck? All I know is that nigga Luffy is living, my guy. Hey, it ain't it ain't nothing like seeing some titties after you take a L. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I see you, Oda. Nice way to take care of your MC. No, don't pull as hard as you can. What is wrong with these ones? They've never seen a man before. No, no, whoa. Oh my God, no. She's not. See, okay, so here comes an elder. Hopefully she knows what a man looks like. Okay, so she's seen something before. They shook. So this is gonna go one or two ways. They either gonna get extremely excited and attached because it's a man, or they go they're gonna be a living hell for this dude until they until they gain some type of uh inhabited by the tribal female warrior's name known as the Kuja. Um it's either gonna be a living hell for my dude, or it's it's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful as they build this bond. Or the other way around, he's gonna have to build this bond. And go with the slow grind. Y'all. Luffy is living. I really don't understand. I don't understand how you can celebrate after an L better than how he how he's doing it. You know what I mean? Like this nigga got B to a pulp, pretty not B to a pulp, but he got fucked up. 
his crew got fucked up, and then they all got separated. But he's the only one. He has to like. Uh, there's no other island like this. It can't be. Only one. They got this treatment. Oh, let's fucking go. That's why he's the goat MC. That's just another reason why this nigga is a god. You know what I mean? Not too much even really happened this episode. We we got to see like. We just got to see that Luffy was okay. We got to see that that bitch ass celestial girl was upset that her brother got beat up and her father got beat up. We don't care. Um, I still don't understand what Kuma was doing, but I still feel like he might have helped the Straw Hats out because they weren't going to leave that island alive, probably. Um, or at least without fatal injury. Now, I feel like the only thing we can do now is go to the next episode and see what's cracking. Maybe we see what's going on with the rest of the Straw Hats. Um, and if not, we get to see what's all going on on this island of beautiful women. So, without further ado, go ahead and drop that like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this video, man. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't ever miss another lit video. And I'm going to catch y'all. You did.